Hello and welcome to the in-depth series of Drishti IAS. My name is Pooja Tivedi. Today we are going to discuss deep fake technology and how China has brought out a law to curb the misuse of deep fakes. This topic is very important from the perspective of GS mains paper third and also from the perspective of your preliminary examination. Let us move ahead without any delay and talk about all these important topics. In the end of the segment, at the end of the segment, I will take the names of those students who have answered my last question correctly. And I will also attach a question in the comment segment so you can answer it for the next segment. So let's first of all talk about the background. See, the Cyberspace Administration of China, which is the cyberspace watchdog of China, is rolling out new regulations for deep fake. And it is to restrict the use of deep synthesis technology and also curb disinformation this will be effective from january 10th of course 2023 and first of all let us know about deep synthesis and then deep fake deep synthesis can be called as a use as the use of technologies which includes deep learning deep learning is a learning through computers so that they can employ those learning in day to day life and augmented reality this is basically the visualization or the manifestation of the deep learning into reality looks like a reality to generate text images audio and video to create virtual scenes i don't know if you are aware but i can give you an example whenever you might go through video shots of youtube in youtube or instagram you can see that a video audio of some celebrity is doctored and the lip syncing of those audio that audio can be used to say things that they have never said so this encourages disinformation and misinformation the application can range from swapping the face or voice of one person for another so that misinformation can be generated these are also used to generate celebrity porn through face swapping also produce fake news and comments or commit financial fraud and scams the challenges are that as technology has grown so much it also becomes harder to regulate those technology because advancement is unprecedented at this point of time especially after covid-19 so what is deep fake deep fake can be called as the compilation of artificial images and audio which are put together with machine learning algorithms and it is used to spread misinformation and replace a real person's appearance voice or even both with artificial likeness or voice and this can create people who do not at all exist or it can fake real people saying and doing things that they have never said or done so of course this first of all infringes upon the right to privacy and also the right to be represented clearly those who know don't know that what are the origins of the word or the term deep fake it all came into existence in 2017 when an anonymous reddit user called himself deep fakes this user manipulated google's open source and deep learning technology to create and post pornographic video by face swapping and it can also be used to have very evil and nefarious plans to be executed such as scams and hoaxes celebrity pornography election manipulation social engineering automated disinformation and attacks and identity theft and financial fraud election manipulation how i can take a video of the prime minister of india or a prime the prime minister of or the president of any country try to doctor that clip by making th that clip say something in their own voice in their own voice artificially say something that is going to polarize the country and people generally do not at all i have seen this personally generally they do not at all they are not able to uh, distinguish between what is real and what is fake of course that is not their fault this is due to lack of awareness people are not aware enough so awareness generation is also very important all right moving ahead now what is this concern what are the concerns that first of all china is going through that will be discussed later but what 
is the policy say the policy of china requires deep synthesis service providers and the users to ensure that any doctored content which is using the technology is explicitly labeled it is labeled beneath or at the top of the uh, video that it is a deep fake used or it is done by some deep fake provider so deep fake providers if they do so people will be able to distinguish what is real and what is not and also the creator of that content can also be traced back that is also important it mandates the people using the technology to edit someone's image or voice to notify them first that we are going to use your clip and then take the consent of the person then they might further go on with it when reposting news which is made by this particular deep fake technology the source can be only from the government approved list of on a news outlets and they should also abide by the local laws whoever are doing so respect the ethics and maintain the correct political direction and correct public opinion orientation so these are the law requirements what is the rationale behind it china says because there is an unchecked development and use of this deep synthesis it has called for it to be regulated and because they could lead to use or they could lead to increase of their use in criminal technologies and criminal activities such as online scams or defamation then of course it needs to be regulated the law wants to curb risks that might arise from the activities provided by the platform using deep learning and or virtual reality to alter the actual saying and change it into their own valid narrative so european union has an updated code of practice for it okay it requires the tech companies such as google meta and other important huge techs to take measures in countering deep fakes and fake accounts on their platform they also have 6 months to do so once they have signed up the code if they are found out to be non compliant with the regulation then they can be fined as much as 6% of their annual global turnover this was introduced in 2018 the code of practice on defamation the revision was done by june 2022 the code of practice it was actually signed in october 2018 by online platforms such as facebook google twitter and mozilla advertisers and other players which are included here also signed it microsoft joined it in 2019 tiktok in 2020 and the commission has issued a guidance on updating and strengthening the code to bridge the gaps which it has done apart from that in july 2021 the us introduced the bipartisan deep fake task force act in order to assist department of homeland security so that homeland security can counter deep fake technology it directs the homeland security to conduct an annual study of deep fakes what technologies the these deep fakes are using what are the uh, what are the uh, what is the involvement of foreign actors here and also the domestic entities they want the dhs to come up with available countermeasures to tackle these new emerging technologies and if there is an involvement of foreign actors then also do something against them california and texas texas which are the states of the us they have passed laws that criminalize the use of deep fake that intend to influence the outcome of an election the law in virginia imposes criminal penalties on distribution of non consensual deep fake pornography moving ahead if we talk about india there are no specific legal rules against using deep fake technology however specific laws are need to be made that could be addressed for misusing the tech which include copyright violation defamation and cyber felonies there are certain laws which not specifically but generally have uh, a power against such activities such as section 67 and 67a of the it act of 2000 which provides punishment for publishing sexually explicit material in electronic form section 500 of the ipc code of 1860 it provides punishment for defamation but these two are not enough we need to have specific laws so that special special security can be provided see there are also impl implications for the right to privacy which came uh, as a part which became a part of the right to life and liberty under article 21 
it was pronounced by the supreme court in the justice ks putta swami case of 2017 so if i want to protect my privacy i need a strong data protection law which of course has not come into existing existence as of yet so pdp personal data protection bill was launched in 2019 but a new and updated one is there in 2022 but it has not become an act as of yet so we need laws to protect ourselves then of course right to be forgotten is also a part of right to privacy see if i do not want my videos to be circulated in the media i want to maintain my privacy so i do not have any law or any regulation to help me with it so of course first we should ensure that these deep fakes in india are ensnared with the help ensnared within the ambit of the personal data protection law which india needs at the moment india is a huge country everybody has a smartphone we are digitally very empowered so of course india needs it so that's it for today let me take the names of those who have answered my last question correctly okay so sataj was the correct answer option d akash rahul 76 wasim bhat praful uh, bhargavi sumit ramakrishnan then um, bipin and uh, shweta shrinivas tushita sweety fojdar and richa siddhant shifa priyanka rupal hitesh and prince you all have answered the last question correctly try to answer the next question as well i will take your names in the next segment thank you so much for watching